At one of LA's most diverse music festivals, the band Mexico 68 gives us a taste of Afrobeat. Afrobeat combines jazz, funk, and African music. Just one of the sounds to make you want to dance at the Eagle Rock Music Festival. You come up here, you're going to get everything from hip-hop to uh, salsa to uh, uh, the, a, a new type of alternative music. There's a little bit for everyone here, and that's what Northeast LA is about. That's what Los Angeles is about. Councilman Jose Huizar and Center of the Arts Eagle Rock produced the show. Some 40 acts, including soul band The Altons, playing on eight stages up and down several blocks of Colorado Boulevard. Torrance indie rockers, the 131ers, entertained the cool kids near the emerging stage. While over at the tropical stage, the band Chungui Mahadero got people moving with Chungui. That's music originating from Baracoa in eastern Cuba. Longtime Eagle Rock family owned business Rance Auto Center gave out free food. All the hard work my dad put into, you know, he was an immigrant and all that, and guess what? We made it, and this is our big thank you back to the community. Free tacos, free drinks. The party continued when drummer producer Tomer hit the main stage. Good vibes all around in the community of Eagle Rock. Population 35,000. It's part of a larger metropolitan area, but you still it has a small town feel. So when people come out in a festival, they walk the streets, see their neighbors, and we keep uniting. That builds community. It builds trust. It builds uh, pride in local community. And that's a lot of what this is. At the Eagle Rock Music Festival, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. Again, the concert was free, but people were also able to buy VIP tickets for $10 to $20. Money raised will fund Eagle Rock arts programs.